Hi, I'm Sheridan Cantarelli, and I used to be a well-known boy soprano. You might even say I was a celebrity. But after a while of nothing but performing, I decided to take a couple years off to be a normal kid. Now, I'm trying to get back into it, and I'm finding I have to start my whole career all over again. This isn't going to be easy. But I'm ready! <laughs> You're kind of tall. There's always a basketball team. You could always join the chess club, but you don't know how to play chess, do you? No. So you shouldn't join the chess club. Well, I'm out of ideas. Hey, where were you Saturday anyway? I called your house and left like eight messages. You only left one message, Robbie. Oh, it felt like eight. I was at an audition. I thought you didn't have to audition for anything because you used to be famous. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I started to sing, and before I knew it, the director stood up and said, that's enough. He tossed you out, huh? He didn't toss me out. He tossed you out. He tossed me out. Well, maybe it's for the best, Sheridan. It's been nice not having photographers jumping out of the bushes for once. Hey! <sighs> sign this! Marla, where'd you come from? The bush? Can you sign this? I've already signed this. I've signed this several times. It's the last album you've ever recorded. The CD means more to me than air. Sign it! It's been two years since I even performed. When's your next CD coming out? Well, right now, there isn't going to be another CD. We're trying to figure out other things he's good at. And right now, we're not having much luck. Thanks. Sheridan, as the president of the unofficial yet maybe could be official Sheridan Counselor fan club, I say that your fans demand another album. Fans? My fans want me to create another album? How many fans are in your club? Right now, it's just me. And how many fans were in your club before? Just one. You. Sign it! Ugh, my life suddenly seems so sad. <laughs> suddenly? Well, what you need is a one-up on the competition. What do you expect him to do? Juggle watermelons on stage while singing? When life becomes hard and you're broken You may not know this about me, but I'm an actress. That's nice, Marla. You take care now. And I'm being coached by the best acting coach around. How do you know he's the best? He says so, and an actor never lies. Acting isn't the Girl Scouts, Marla. Here's his card. Acting lessons with Fritz Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Isn't that a rabbit stew? It's just you got a one-up on the competition. I mean, I think it's a great idea, but I'm concerned about how much this will cost. What are you talking about? We have the money for it. No, that's for your college. We said that any money you made would go towards your education and your future. This is for my future. You know what I mean. We're gonna have to ask your father about this. But he'll say no. He didn't want me singing in the first place. I'm sure if it means a lot to you, he'll consider it. Absolutely not. But... Not gonna happen. But look what good it could do. It's out of the question. There's no reason why he can't just join some extracurricular activities at school for free like the rest of the kids his age. This means a lot to me. I really want this to work out. Well, if it means that much to you, then maybe you can pay for it yourself. How do you expect him to do that? You know that money is for his education. I'm talking about a job. I happen to know somebody who's looking for a paper boy. A paper boy? He's only 14. 200 newspapers before school each morning. I did that when I was your age. A paper boy. A paper boy. <laughs>